have a glorious story to tell. It is a great honor to stand before you today to recount the remarkable journey of Edo State under the visionary leadership of Governor Godwin Obaseki. As we reflect on these transformative years, we celebrate not just the achievements, but the collective resilience and determination of the people of Edo. The Edo story has been rewritten since Obaseki assumed office. Our story perpetuates progress and futuristic values, demystifying governance to revolve around the people who now act as the centrifugal force. Through well-tailored policies, interventions, and reforms, we have risen as a state from the lowly wilderness of obscurity into the lofty heights of visibility. Our public service reforms have made us number one in e-governance, number one in procurement, number one in public digital infrastructure, and number one in ICT adoption in the whole of Nigeria. Edo today is the most digitally connected state in Nigeria with over 2,000 kilometers of fiber optic cables connected across the 18 local government areas of the state. We have the only state-owned tier 3 data center in West Africa with a 1.5 petabyte storage capacity. Our civil service secretariat has been reconstructed, rehabilitated to global standard housing, a crash and a food court within the complex. We are also emphasizing a continuous and informed learning culture through the establishment of the John Odigi Oyegun Public Service Academy. We boast of being the ones that set the standard and benchmark for the new minimum wage protocol across the country. Our workers and pensioners for the past eight years have received their salaries and pensions before the end of every month. In the health sector, we have upgraded primary health centers across the 18 local government areas of the state, which have brought health care to the grassroots. We boast of over 300,000 enrollees in the Edo Health Insurance Scheme, which has made health care affordable to residents. We institutionalized the Edo State Emergency Medical Services, Edo EMS, to offer around the clock emergency medical assistance, established the Edo State Integrated Public Health Emergency Operations Center to facilitate early disease detection and provide adequate surveillance data on disease conditions, and trained over 450 community based first responders to provide immediate first aid to patients in cases of emergencies. After years of neglect and shutdown, we reconstructed and resuscitated the Edo State College of Nursing Sciences and got it reaccredited, fully equipped with e libraries, computers, science and anatomy laboratories, and other state of the art facilities. Today, it is the toast of the nursing profession nationwide. The Edo State College of Health Sciences and Technology has also been rebuilt to global standards. Why this tell our Basaja Hospital has been reconstructed, upgraded, and equipped with world class medical equipment from ASR. This health facility now has at least 12 departments providing healthcare services across various strata of the health ecosystem. We have also facilitated the establishment of the Desi Nare Danjoma Women's Center, which provides a wide range of services. In education, we blaze the trail with our Edo Basic Education Sector Transformation Initiative which has gained us global recognition with other nationals and sub-national governments coming to learn from Edo. We have trained over 12,000 teachers in modern and digital training methods, with each teacher giving a computer tablet to aid teaching and learning in the classroom. Over 400,000 pupils across the state are currently benefiting from the program. Edo Best 2.0 has further raised the bar, extending digital coaching to secondary and tertiary levels of learning, as well as technical and vocational education and training, the TVET. We have renovated over 400 schools with pupils and students having access to quality learning, special playgrounds, and other outdoor sporting facilities for their overall development. The College of Education, Abudu, has undergone a significant renovation to establish itself as one of the three colleges of education campuses dedicated to digital training of primary school teachers. After years of decay, the former Minister of Education in Yaro, Beni City, has been reconstructed into an education hall to now house all departments and agencies relating to education, including the Ministry of Education. Boards for primary, basic, secondary, and technical education, the Quality Assurance Directorate, a library, and the library board. It also accommodates primary school, healthcare center, a center for seminars and conferences, sports complex, a crash, and a cafeteria, all aimed at creating a supportive ecosystem. 
We constructed an administrative complex for the Amritsar University and undertook a comprehensive refurbishment of the law faculty, as well as other multifaceted interventions at our state-owned institution. The Benin Technical College has been upgraded with cutting-edge facilities to boost technical and vocational education in order to address unemployment concerns and foster a sustainable development trajectory. Agriculture received enormous boost as Edo currently runs the most ambitious oil palm program on the continent. The Edo State Oil Palm Program, ESOP, with over 100,000 hectares of land being cultivated with oil palm and currently attracting over $500 million investment into the state. The Agric Orb, an innovative project, has also been built and designed to afford farmers access to the state-of-the-art facilities and training opportunities. The hub currently houses the Ministry of Agriculture, the Forestry Commission, the Edo State Oil Palm Program, Veterinary Clinic and other allied agencies affording them synergy in order to restore the culture of agriculture in the state. The Edo State College of Agriculture in Goriaki has been rebuilt to global standard with a 1,200 capacity auditorium, computer laboratories, more than 250 seater lecture halls, solar power science laboratories, cutting edge library and hostel accommodation as well as other improvements that is today the foremost agri-college this side of the River Niger. The industrial and economic revolution by the Abbasic administration are seen to the offshoot of two modular refineries and three ethanol plants. Through a PPP arrangement, we established Oshomo Power, an independent power plant which provides a 24-hour power supply to the state, secretariat, industries, countless public buildings, and streetlights and various communities. The Edo Tech Park stands at the foremost of technology and innovation, equipping youths in advanced software engineering, computer skills, and the nurturing of startup entrepreneurs, and by so doing, anchoring local talents and countering the phenomenon of brain drain commonly witnessed in emerging regions. We have established the Edo Innovation Hub, Edo Jobs, to upskill and assist youths and residents with digital skills and employment opportunities, acting as a springboard for startups and small businesses. The Edo Production Center has also been set up to create an enabling environment for MSMEs to thrive. The offsprings of numerous retail outlets like Market Square, Ford Mart, Domino Pizza, and of course the Benin City Mall, which houses shop price and other business outlets, get testament to our investment drive. We have changed the face of transportation as well as traffic management and regulation in the state, as we have constructed the ultra-modern Benin City Central Park to redefine the transportation system in the ever-busy commercial center of the state. The Edo State Traffic Management Agency, ETSMA, has been redeformed into a perfect example of efficiency and order. Domicile in the state-of-the-art facility, which houses mini mart, auto workshop, driver training, and manpower development center, visual reality driving facility, and an administrative building. Just recently, we commissioned and unveiled the first computerized VIO vehicle inspection center in Benin City, aimed at ensuring roadworthiness of vehicles, thereby enhancing road safety for commuters. We also commissioned water buses in Lombo to improve our revenue transportation system. We have become unstoppable in sports. With the upgrade of the Samuel Ogbemuja Stadium into a 12,000 capacity covered arena with natural turf and refitted running tracks, it also hosts extensively refurbished tennis and squash courts, an Olympic sized swimming pool, and indoor suspended gymnasium, which is the first of its kind in Nigeria. We have established the physical planning hub as a response to the growing complexities of urbanization and development within the state by creating a cultural district which encompasses the Museum of West African Art, MOA, and other historical infrastructures, we are ensuring a social integration, economic development, and the regeneration of urban areas with the objective of revitalizing rundown inner city industrial areas and the preservation of our cultural heritage. Through the Motor Gardens Estate Project and other housing interventions, we have bridged the housing deficit in Edo. We have also built several parks and gardens for relaxation. As a way of attracting investors and opening the property market in the state, we constructed the Benin Golf Mews, situated on 2,962 square meters of land. In terms of security, it is safe to say Edo is currently the safest state in the whole of the South-South region. We are deploying contemporary solutions to address security issues through our advanced command and control center. We have built and handed over a forward operating base in Eho to the Nigerian Army as a way of improving security in Edo with more FOBs currently in the works. 
We also built an ultra modern marine police space with a pedestrian jetty and waiting lounge accompanied by armored guns on speedboats to maintain marine security and protection. The success of the Edo Security Network, which incorporates the Edo State Vigilante Network and other security agencies in curbing and minimizing the speed of insecurity in the state, is a testament of the drive to ensure safety and protection for Edo people. The Victor Waivo Creative Hub and Sound Stage, established by this government, is developing talent in youngsters and upcoming artists. As a way of boosting the entertainment sector, we have built a conducive artist accommodation suite at the Film Production Center. Edoborn artists like Rema, Charlie Poppy, Johnny Drill, and a host of others are making waves in the entertainment space, and we continue to encourage these artists to soar above the cloud. The turnout for the upcoming show, recently organized by Rema at the Wooden Stadium, amplifies our success story. This age-owned television station, the ABS, has become a contemporary media house with a new administrative building, brand new ultra-modern soundproof FM studio, and cutting-edge gear, producing interesting and educational shows that appeal to a larger audience. We have constructed a brand new edifice for the state-owned newspaper, The Nigerian Observer, with cutting-edge equipment and facilities as seen in the 21st century media ecosystem. We have seen numerous road constructions and rehabilitation networks across the state, spanning over 1,300 kilometers. Our street lighting project has brought back nightlife to the city center, boosting security and the state's economy. The success story of the Godwin of Baseki led administration will sure require the expertise of a chronicler, as it cannot be exhausted in the single broadcast. From Edo North through Edo Central to Edo South, its countless interventions and welfare initiatives speaks volumes. Several people and related policies have been enacted, with numerous bills passed by the State House of Assembly, all geared towards promoting good governance in the state. History will be kind to Governor Godwin Obaseki and prosperity will judge you right. This is our story.